We started off the day with plenty of sunshine, but it has since faded. Those mm. clouds are rolling in and showers are expected to come soon. Yeah, Kate Garner joins us now. Kate, we even hear some thunder and lightning out there. In parts of our viewing area and others, as Natalie mentioned, well, they'll be to you soon. So take a look right now at radar with me. Let's get right to it. I want you to know what we're expecting right now in parts of Davidson County, up in Forsyth County, in Guilford County, in Randolph County today. Certainly seeing some heavy, heavy rain. Uh, actually, Debbie from Thomasville just got in touch with me on Facebook. She lives in Thomasville, says she even spotted some lightning in that area. We have been tracking that as well. So take a look at the Holly Grove area right now uh, near Highway 64 and I-85. Some rain there that's getting a little heavy. As we zoom in, I do want to give you a street level look. This is where some lightning was spotted just a few minutes ago, but it is swiftly starting to move off to the east. This is near North Country Home Road, Yount Road and uh, areas in Holly Grove certainly seeing a lot of that rain right now. As we zoom back out though, I want to show you right here in Randolph County near the new market area rain a bit heavier with storms as well. You can actually see some of the lightning strikes right down here with me. If you take a look, you can kind of see those white dots. That's lightning. This is near Old Glenola Road, Tobacco Road in the Edgar area near Highway 311 and 74 this afternoon. Some storms spotted in that area continuing to move east though. And as we move up here to Alamance County, I want to show you in Burlington, even near Mebane this afternoon, uh, seeing some heavy rain and then up in Rockingham and Caswell County near Reedsville and Ruffin Highway 29 over in Yanceyville near 158. That's where we're seeing some of that heavy rain. First, I want to zoom into the Ruffin area. If you're in this area near Worsham Mill Road this afternoon, you're certainly seeing some of that heavy rain and Estes Road as well. Now, as we zoom on over here to areas like Greenfield Trail and Salva Smith Road, Hodges Dairy Road, heavy rain and lightning spotted in this area also. Let's talk rainfall totals right now. I know many of you are curious just how long this rain will last and how much we're going to get. So as you take a look with me, this is by tomorrow morning. Totals are not extremely significant in the central part of the Piedmont Triad. It's really up in the mountains. Jefferson uh, area in Ash County could see close to an inch in Sparta close to an inch as well. As we progress into Saturday evening, you can see totals increase a bit for the central part of the Piedmont Triad, but it's really not until Sunday that that rain really starts to fall and affect our totals here. Everybody pretty much close to half an inch or just over half an inch, like right there in Reedsville and Yanceyville, and then up in the mountains a little closer to two inches of rain expected by Sunday morning. So as you head to those church services by about 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock, you get out, you want to go to lunch, you are definitely going to want to have the umbrella and the raincoat handy, maybe your cute rain boots as well because take a look over two inches in Ash County by Sunday mid afternoon and the central part of the Piedmont Triad will then see over uh, half an inch there. So let's take a look at future cast and break down these times by about 630 tonight. The rain going to continue to be coming down along with cloud cover, heavy rain at times and I can tell you uh, through tomorrow morning, we're at a marginal risk for any activity that we have to potentially turn severe. And really what that entails is heavy winds for us at this point. So that's another thing I'm keeping an eye on are those winds. But by about 1030 tonight, you can see really for our mountain counties and our northern counties or where we're going to see some rain and then overnight those showers move through. It's this next line that will start to move through into tomorrow and really it just grazes our northern counties there. Uh, so if you're in the southern counties, it's likely that tomorrow you'll be partly sunny. However, I'm not going to rule out the chance for a light shower or storm, but it's really the northern and western counties that I'm concerned about into tomorrow. Take a look at this though. By Sunday, this is the line that's moving through and it moves across our entire viewing area. That's by about 9, 10 o'clock on Sunday morning and then more rain starts to push through by the lunch hour. Now, as mentioned, this is our severe outlook. The northwestern part of the Piedmont Triad is at a marginal risk for any activity that we have to turn severe. And really that just means the wind gusts going to get heavy. We could potentially see some hail and then the southern counties at risk for a general thunderstorm. So temperature wise out there right now, it's a good mix of 60s, 70s and 80s across the board. This evening will be at 82 showers and isolated thunderstorms expected to roll through all evening and into the overnight hours where we drop to 63 degrees into tomorrow. 79 degrees is our forecast high. We'll have those showers really ramping up tomorrow afternoon. Could see a few breaks there tomorrow morning, but tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night it gets fairly heavy. So we're at 79 for tomorrow and then in the 60s for Sunday and Monday. We've got chances for precipitation all three days, the heaviest of which is on Sunday. More weather coming your way in just half an hour.